Hey guys, uh, it's Stephen B. Today I'm going to give you guys a look at uh, the V Droop mod on the 990FX8 SUD7. Uh, this is a little bit more complex than what you're going to do. Uh, I had a little mistake and had to uh, reroute a trace that I cut. Um, but that was because of some oscilloscope testing. Nothing to do with uh, the V Droop mod. The V Droop mod actually is only these two wires uh, the yellow and the pink. And they're just hooked up to a variable resistor. Uh, make sure not touch anything else. Uh, this is all like touch and die type stuff. Uh, this was I was trying to measure the switching frequency, and uh, I thought I saw a short, and then I tried to cut it, and I cut a trace. So nevertheless, I had to get a wire to the trace because it went to pin number three on the PWM chip, and I don't feel like soldering to the, the actual leg. Uh, so I rerouted it to a resistor that it should have connected to. Um, but right now, out of here, I have uh, routed on the back, uh, to the back of the motherboard, voltage read points. Uh, this one goes to the CPU, and this one goes to the uh, CPU NB. Uh, right here, you'll see the CPU NB voltage, and this is the CPU voltage. And this is the voltage in easy tune, okay? So right now, it's 1.4 volts set, and I get a uh, 1.472. Um, I know it's a little wobbly, so uh, let's change this up. Um, let's see what it does under high load. We'll go to 1.475, and I'm predicting it will give us 1.55, because it's almost the reverse of the V-droop. Uh, you guys are feeling about 0.1 V-droop. Well, this is actually pretty good. So you just found, find your offset, and I found that it's about 0.75. So right now we should get about 1.55 volts. Okay, so let's set it. There we go, 1.4, volts on that. Uh, CPUMB doesn't have V droop at all. Actually, it has V rise, and that comes at stock. Um, by changing this variable resistor to uh, different uh, K ratings, right now it's 100K. 100K allows for uh, the V droop to be disabled on both the CPUNB and the CPU V core. Um, but at 50k, uh, we disable both V droop. At 0k is what it is at standard. Uh, v droop on the CPU NB is turned off, but V droop on the CPU V core is turned on. Uh, at uh, that's at 0k. At 50k, both of them are disabled. Um, at 75k, uh, the CPUs is enabled and the CPU NBs is disabled. And at 100k, both of them are enabled. And that's how they get basic V droop. Uh, on Intel, we actually have to do something different. We don't have easy V droop pins. And this also has that FB. We deal with the voltage regulation feedback system. But here I'm going to give you a look at what happens when I go load. Here we have IBT uh, set at 6. Um, let me give you some proof that this is the board I'm testing. So we're going to turn up CPU Z. And uh, I'm going to give you a little look here. Right here, this 1.536, 1.547. Uh, we have 1100T, and now I'm going to see what motherboard we're messing with. Right there, 90FX8 SUD7 BIOS F4B that's readily available on the website. No special bias or anything here. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be heavy load as we're going to load. Uh, and I'll show you how much wattage we're loading to uh, when we load. And this is my watt meter. It tells me how much watt is going through this 8-pin uh, connector. Anyway, so let's start off load. Okay, load is started. 181 watts. Voltage is 1.564. Now that 189 should increase. There we go. 234, 250 about. Uh, 1.570. It'll drop back down as soon as the watt goes back down. I'll tell you right exactly when. Uh, it should be really soon. Uh, so it is going to drop back a little bit. There we go. Uh, so the more power you do, the most the more it'll push. So this is actually the exact opposite. And then we'll stop IBT altogether and see what happens to our voltages. Okay, stop. 1.550. Now let's start again to give you an idea of what happens to both the voltages and the wattage in that corner. Up to 200 watts, 1.564. Uh, notice CPUMB is also rising up to 230. There we go. CPUMB and CPU V core increased. So we get about a 20 millivolt increase. Of course, it's a little bit different on an oscilloscope, and I'll give you a look at what it is. Uh, and we're still going on IBT. 
Um, so that's what's what. Uh, to give you an example of what's happening in IBT, uh, the full load. Now we'll drop back and load as you see that 211 went down to 180 and now 2, and now that went back to 566. So it varies with load. Uh, increase in load means increase in V core, and that's the voltage modification for you. Um, of course, there's no reason to do this. Uh, you just compensate for the V droop just like you do the V rise in this case, just like I am doing and you're set, you know, uh, it's not going to move from the base voltage unless current changes. Alright, thank you.